Whew. It's been a while since I last had a meal this good. Oh, is that so, Thomas? Oops. Sorry, dear. I didn't mean to insult your cooking. You didn't. This meal really does taste great. Madam Stewart, is the food here always this good? I'm glad you like it, Mrs. Foster. We do our best. Excuse me. I'm going back to my room now. Don't you want more food, sweetie? No, thanks. Why don't you wait for us, Angie? That way you won't get lost. This mansion is so big. Don't be paranoid, Lucia. Our rooms aren't that far from here. Mrs. Foster, I can accompany Miss Angela to her room, if you wish. There's no need for that. Mrs. Foster? Um, what do you say, Angie? Uh, thanks, Madame Stewart, but I know the way. Of course you know the way, sweetie. You're far smarter than us, aren't you? Maybe. Maybe, huh? <laughs> we'll see about that. Now, go to your room. Do you like that painting, miss? Uh, who are these women in the painting, Madame Stewart? That's the Countess and her daughter, Evelyn. They lived here during the 19th century. The Countess was a remarkable woman. She was well ahead of her time. Your grandmother deeply admired her story, Mrs. Foster. That's why she kept this portrait hanging here. As a tribute to the Countess. The way you speak, it seems like you too admire that Countess woman. Madame Stewart, can you please tell me more about my grandmother? That would be a pleasure, Mrs. Foster. But not today. It's late, and you all need to go get some rest. We'll have plenty of time for that tomorrow. Yes, you're absolutely right. Miss, you must be very tired. It was a long journey, I suppose. The longest I've ever done. As I thought. Well, call me whenever you need anything, miss. Are you sure you know the way, Angie? Mom! I'm worrying way too much, aren't I? It's this mansion. I still can't believe we're living here now.
You're still awake, Angie. I'm not sleepy yet. Me neither. But reading at night always helps me sleep better. Where's Dad? He's watching TV in a room by the back hallway. I guess he'll end up falling asleep there. I'll go take a look. If he's already asleep, wake him up and tell him to come and sleep here. Okay, Mom. too far, okay? We still don't know how big this mansion really is. Okay. Angela, do you want to use the bathroom, miss? No, sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, it's my fault, miss. I'm so late. But I'm almost done here. you to go to bed. Yeah, yeah. I'll go in a minute. <sighs> what about you, sweetie? You shouldn't be wandering around this late. I'm not sleepy yet, but I'm going back to my room now. Yes, do that. Your mother is right. We'd better not go about this mansion by ourselves. Okay, Dad. Aren't you? Wait! Where are you going?
This can't be real! Angela! Thank goodness! Tom, she's here! Where have you been, Angie? I told you not to go too far! Mom! There's a mad woman in this place! A murderer! She killed one of the maids! What? What are you talking about, Angie? Where did you go, for goodness sake? I was downstairs! There was a masked woman in a black dress! And she used scissors to kill the maid! And then she tried to kill me, too! Sweetie, calm down. Weren't you sleepwalking? No, I wasn't! I heard screaming and I followed it to the closet room! And then that mad woman was there, stabbing that maid! The closet room? Is there such a room, Madame Stewart? Yes, Mrs. Foster. It's downstairs, like Miss Angela said. Tom? Lucia, take Angela to our room and stay there with her. I'm gonna go check that room. No, Dad, don't go! That woman is dangerous! Shouldn't we call the police, Tom? The police? Lucia, please. Madame Stewart? Can you please call the others to help my husband? As you wish, Mrs. Foster. Okay, that should speed things up. Dad, be careful! Don't go unarmed! Don't worry, sweetie. I'll be fine. She's right, Tom. Better safe than sorry. You two are so paranoid. Tom, did you find anything? No, nothing. Nothing? Did you go to the closet room? Yes. And you didn't find the dead maid? Her body was soaked with blood. I didn't find a single drop of blood. What about the wig room? Wig room? Yes, it was full of wigs. And there were scissors, too. Just like a hairdressing room. Angie, we checked every room downstairs, and there was nothing even close to what you're describing. I... I'm not lying. We know, Angie. We believe you. Don't we, Thomas? Of course we believe you, sweetie. But sometimes you see things that, well, aren't really there. You know that. This time it was different. Well, we can talk more about that tomorrow. It's late. We should get some sleep. <sighs> that we should do. I'm going to my room. Angie, you can sleep with us today. This bed is big enough for the three of us. That's right. You should sleep here, sweetie. That way we can take care of each other, right? Right. Mom, Dad... I love you both. Thank you.